Come along, guys. Well, I'm outside Terminal 5 at Heathrow. I've been invited on an amazing trip. I'm going to Italy, courtesy of Moto Guzzi, for five days of riding through Tuscany. Give the MGX a rest. Let Lee have a go. This is the V7, V9, sorry, Bobber. So this has got 16-inch wheels front and back. The same size tyre on the front as what's on the back. And uh, Lee was just really rating it actually. So I didn't much care for the standard V9. Well, not compared to the V7, but perhaps the Bobber is the way to, way to go. It's funny how you get used to a bike and then you get on something else and it feels very, very different. The clutch is much smoother on these, that's a big engine. The clutch is a little bit heavy on that, especially in traffic. And this position definitely puts more weight on your bum than what it does on the cruiser. The seat is like a sofa on that, to be fair there. Have a chat in the middle of the road. Look at this, this is old. This is some old shit. Looks like they've reserved the area for us. It's like we're having lunch here. The whole town grinds to a halt. And a load of motor guzzies arrive. Guzzy carnage. What can I say? This is the medieval town of Votella. Awful Italian pronunciation, I do apologise. So I suggest that we start right now and we have a walk along the streets of Volterra. Gelato, I want some gelato. I love gelato. Gelato. How's your cat yet? Terrible. <laughs> Shall we? Where's the mic? We, 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 we can point. Sure, I've scaled that in a classic Assassin's Creed before. Stash of ice cream is the best, I think. So is that a meringue, do you think? It looks like meringue. Meringue and what, I wonder? One of the meringue. And uh, cheesecake. Oh, I've just done a close up the ice cream. Got to get your, got to get your priorities right on these sorts of videos. Oh, now that, that is an ice cream. That is an ice cream. That's it, that's it, we're off, Voltora. We're now heading to the Piaggio Museum, which I think is a long way from here. I think we're going to be riding for quite some time. An hour from here? 
continue on the bobber. I didn't do much with the bobber. Oh, it's top gun. Well, that was certainly the best gelato I've ever had. Oh, the suspension is not particularly good on these V7, V9s. Adequate, I think, is the word for it. It's the same with the uh, front brake, really, as well. So the bobber's got a 16-inch wheels front and back, whereas the normal V7 has an 18-inch front, 17-inch back. So it's interesting to see the difference as in the handling. So it should obviously make it a bit lighter, maybe, but it has got big, wide tyres. It's got the same size tyres on the front. I'm cutting through a few people. As what it has on the rear, which is... Uh... I'm not stopping, sorry. They've got a baby in the bag, which is a little bit odd, but we'll see how that equates on the twisties. Oh, I want to get up the front. I want to get up the front. I love the fag on, my God. <laughs> the fag. I think he's wasted at my two that guy. I think he needs to get a job with the Italian police. Mm. When you start to lay it over, there's not a lot of feedback. I'm not sure. I think that the V7, even with this bobber configuration, I think the V7, standard V7, handles better. Look at those. Thousands upon thousands of sunflowers. <laughs> oh, Simon's on the go! He's on a go. I want to be on a go. Out of the way, you. I'm having him. Ooh. Ah. Behind something else. I want to get on that racer. That racer looks good, doesn't it? Olin's rear suspension. Single seat. Clip-ons. Different rear sets. All to make it a bit more sporty on the V7. Unfortunately, they've stopped importing that to England, that one. They need to start reintroduce that, I think. The gearboxes on these, you know, they're... It's a bit like the Super Duke, in a, a little way. That big V-twin where you just click it into gear. You know, it's... Oh, after having blippers and quick shifters, it seems quite a lot of effort to have to change gear on a bike like this. Pull the clutch, bang it down, let the clutch out. Be smooth as you do it. I think I've been entirely spoiled by top-notch quick shifter and blicker, blipper systems. Sagra della Lepre. <laughs> oh dear, my pronunciation. I can't even say the word pronunciation. Pronunciation. I can't even say it. I will then do it. We are here, the Paggio Museum. Look at this. Ah, oh, that's one of the uh, old aircraft. This looks impressive. Oh, look at that. So we've now stopped, we've arrived, the Paggio Museum. We're gonna have a little tour around, see what we got. Lots of scooters, I suspect. <laughs> and some aircraft. So, uh, it could be interesting, let's have a look. That's Roy, he's in the shot again, he's in the shot again. His camera's out, Roy's out. <laughs> oh, no, no, you'll edit it all out when you get home. I'll, I'll, bl I'll, bl I'll blur your face out. <laughs> Buffet. I do fancy this though. I'll take some for other people. Jeez, you're going crazy there. It's a big Vespa. That is a 10 grand Vespa. Apparently, that's made out of fish. Fish skins. 150 kilos of salmon.
was signed by Salvador Dalí. This one is a real Vespa that the French army used during the war in Algeria and Indonesia. That looks like a lot of fun. Hundred and eighty miles an hour. It's like it's made out of paper mache. That was the Paggio factory. Very, very interesting. Oh yeah, let's do it. Back on the MGX, because <laughs> my ass is hurting and this is really, really comfortable. God, it's hot, let's go and get on the roads because I am baking. There she comes. CEO of Paggio on a Tuono. Yeah, this seat is gorgeous. My ass was going on those other bikes. Now it's it's perfect. I think it's because you're sort of carved into this seat. So you're yeah, you've got a different part of your ass is on the seat, not so much your bottom of your your ass, but the back of your ass, the very part of your lower back is what's taking your weight a bit more much more comfy. If we can wheelie it, I'm sold, I'm buying one. So good, back at you. Jazz hands. What shall we go for? We're now at Montecino Fortress behind me. We've got to get the drone out. Uh, the cookies. Um... Oh dear. Right, the El Dorado. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. It was already there. Uh, yeah, yesterday when I, when I had it. You did it, you mean? Oh, no. <laughs> Can't help but think of. Na 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 na. Give me your clothes, boots, and your motorcycle. Pronunciate. Pronunciate? I don't know, it's all getting, it's all sound, it just sounds like a strange noise now. Pronunciate, pronunciate, pronunciate. The Queen's English with chops. <laughs> 